Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a Fisher RC182 GT for you today, and this is about as strong and stable of a frontside performer as you're gonna get. Uh, very happy to be planted on the snow and ripped through carved turns. This is one of the smoothest and most powerful skis in this class out there. Uh, great width, has that wider bodied footprint, which is great for kind of increasing those edge angles, uh, especially if the snow gets a little bit soft. Uh, you know, if you're looking at a pure racing ski, you know, 70, 75 millimeters underfoot, that's a tricky, that's a tricky balance point. So having a little bit more width underfoot goes a long way for a lot of skiers to just increase confidence, you know, get up on those higher edge angles and just to perform a little bit better in anything you know, softer than pure ice, basically. And that's where this ski really comes into play. Opens up some all mountain versatility, but the shape and overall character of the ski certainly lean and skew more to the front side uh, of the spectrum. Um, this ski does have that wood core with two sheets of metal to it. Really just that nice lightweight alum, um, you know, that tight a laminate that really helps the ski stay damp and strong through the turn. Um, it doesn't go full width, you know, especially this top layer. This is where their turn zone technology comes into play. You know, a ski of this shape and this width with those two sheets of metal could be pretty darn demanding, um, but they take a little bit of, you know, they take a little bit off the top and the bottom for that matter uh, with their turn zone technology. So where my fingers are here and then through the tail here, is where that full width metal ends and then it tapers to a central spine, leaving these front portions of the tips and the back portions of the tails unencumbered by that second sheet of metal. And that's just opening up a little bit of, you know, friendliness in terms of turn initiation and completion. If you kind of picture it the other way with two full sheets of metal, then we're kind of dealing with that pure race ski mentality. And given the width of this ski and just the overall mass, that would be pretty harsh for a lot of skiers. So they're just making it a little bit friendlier and more accessible from an initiation and completion standpoint, while the center portion of the ski is still very much all business. So feel free to stand right on this thing and push it through the turn. You know, any type of firmness, any type of, uh, you know, hard groomed terrain, this thing is really gonna light it up and is just a ton of fun when you get it in the right conditions and terrain and just let it rip right through the turns. Super smooth feeling. Uh, 16 meter turn radius in this 173 and that 82 millimeter waist really just kind of is a nice platform to stand on. You know, certainly there are quicker and more agile skis out there as well as more just poppy and energetic ones. Uh, this one falls more to that stable and solid side of the spectrum. And then when we take a look at the shape and profile, that's kind of another way that this thing stands out in terms of uh, its front side mentality and just its kind of burly overall nature. You know, nice positive camber underfoot and then not a lot of taper and rocker to talk about here. Um, you know, there is some tip rocker starting about here. Uh, certainly more for that initiation phase. It does line up with where that turn zone starts. Um, so making that initiation feel a little bit easier and smoother. Um, and if you find yourself in softer snow, it's nice to know that there's at least a little bit of rocker there to help keep that tip out of the snow, but certainly better options for, you know, pure soft snow and all mountain performance. Minimal taper here, that effective edge goes pretty much all the way to the widest part of the ski. And that is giving you more uh, edge on the snow at more time that equates to smoothness as well. So all of these little things add up and that philosophy follows through to the tail as well, where this thing's pretty business-like back here, you know, flat, square, metal, uh, that metal insert just gives this thing a rugged look at the, at the end. Um, and then just a slight amount of tail rocker does not go to the turn zone in the tail. So you're getting a little bit more effective edge uh, back here. Uh, just giving you that 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 final push, you know, rolling into the next turn, uh, but minimal splay, a lot of business, a lot of performance back there, and just kind of a heavy, burly overall feel. Uh, that pairs with these new protector bindings as well. That's kind of worth talking about as a nice uh, nice option for these skis. You know, this Fisher PR11 with a protector heel. That's kind of the next wave in binding safety. 
uh, allowing for a lateral release in the heel, full lateral release. So pretty cool how they're incorporating that into their, into their front side uh, category these days. Uh, and also performs pretty darn well. You know, we've had these, uh, you know, in our super shape skis this year and found that uh, even just having a little bit more weight back here versus the normal, uh, you know, PR, PRD 11 or 12 binding uh, just gives you a little bit more power at the backside of the turn. So, you know, a little bit of weight in a front side ski isn't a bad thing, uh, you know, and adding to that safety, that safety aspect goes a long way too. And make sure you check out this Fisher RC182 GT here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.